Hello everyone and welcome back once again to the exploration series. Today I'm going to be following the Edinburgh side of the Queen's Ferry Railway. This is where we're going to start here at the Dalmeny Junction. The track under the bridge over there takes you along to Linlithgow and the track just in front of me here is the main line. That, in that direction we've got Edinburgh and in this direction we have Fife. Joining me today we have Josh and James. They'll be helping me throughout today's exploration video. It's always nice to have someone with me. Our first aim is to walk down to that bridge over there. Here we are once again on the Queen's Ferry Railway. However, this time we will be going into further depth on this specific railway. The Queen's Ferry Railway was opened in 1866. At Rafo in Edinburgh, the track made its way towards Queen's Ferry via Kirkliston. Then, at Port Edgar, trains boarded ferries to Fife. This continued until 1890 when the fourth rail bridge was opened. New approaches to the fourth rail bridge from both Edinburgh and Linlithgow were constructed. However, the line to Port Edgar and Queen's Ferry Station remained open until 1966. This is the second point on the line that we're exploring today. This is a bridge that the railway went underneath. Above us is, well, I went, it's kind of a road, it's kind of just a path as well. So, very nice structure, not exactly sure how old it is, but I'll try and find out. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head along that way because that's that's where the line continues down underneath the fourth rail bridge. Well, it goes underneath both the fourth rail bridge and the road bridge down to Port Edgar. This is what the structure of the bridge looks like on the outside. And we're going to continue this way down the path. This is where the railway bed would have been. It looks as if this was only single track as well. I don't know if you'd fit double track under there. This is the main road bridge underneath Station Road, which the train station, Dalmeny Station, is that way. But you can see that the original bridge actually used to be a lot smaller than the reinforced concrete one they've made. I'm guessing the road was made a lot wider at one point because that is how it used to be, but now it's been a lot more reinforced. It's nice to still have the old bridge there in the middle. And ahead of us, is the passing point underneath the fourth rail bridge. Now we are passing underneath the archways that begin the fourth rail bridge on the South Queen's Ferry side. And just ahead of us there, we've also got quite an old looking footpath bridge over which would have been the line still right here. So above us, that it looks like it's just a viaduct, but it is actually the start of the fourth rail bridge. This is an old footpath bridge that went over the railway and we can actually go up and have a look on it as well. There we go. And you can now see the rail bridge a little bit better. And if we go down here on the other side there you are. Now you can tell it's the rail bridge straight away. Here we have another old bridge that goes, that went over the line. I don't know if you can still walk over this one. Josh, please watch where you're swinging your hand at me. All these bridges, I'm guessing, were roughly made around the same time to go the railway. Uh, so, yeah, that's actually quite a comfy fit, I'm not gonna lie. Can I keep the hat? Oh, you said you had like six others though. Oh, you got, you got hats for every day of the week, do you? You got your Monday hat, your Tuesday hat. Right, this is the bridge under the main road into South Queen's Ferry. This is still getting fully used by a double road above us. Another very nice bridge and it pops you out here on a shop. So the line continues that way towards Edgar and 
this is the structure of the bridge here. So this is another bridge, or well, at least what's left of it. Uh, it's got quite a curve on it. The the railway went under the road here quite diagonally, and along there is more towards Port Edgar, which is where we're going to finish off. Now we are passing under a very known structure. This is the Forth Road Bridge. This was opened in 1964, which finally saw the end of car ferry services over the Forth. The railway that we are on today takes you down to Port Edgar. Now you might remember mention of the Queen's Ferry Railway from the Recife video two episodes ago. Part of the line I walked that day was the Queen's Ferry Railway, Fife side. This is the Queen's Ferry Railway, Edinburgh side. So up there we've got that magnificent structure that is the Fourth Road Bridge. Now walking towards Port Edgar, we found what could well be a platform of some sort here. Maybe the track goes around here, but I do kind of think that this could have been a platform. Uh, it does slope down a bit, which is the only thing that makes me think it might not have been, but I'm really not sure. Yeah, this is this is what it looks like here. If anyone knows anything about it, then please do let me know. So we're now next to Port Edgar, and here we've got the structure of a bridge that went underneath the road here and took you on to the dock area. So not only was this used as the train ferry terminal, the dock itself had a lot of industrial use for the railway. And if you look down there, we can see the pier. There's still some track on it. I don't think we're going to get down there, but what I'll do is I'll try and get some pictures of it the best I can. So that's the pier where trains boarded and went over to North Queen's Ferry to continue their journey through Fife and trains from Fife came over here to continue the journey to Edinburgh. Now we are right on the docks of Port Edgar looking at the marvellous structures, the Queen's Ferry Crossing, the Forth Road Bridge and the original Forth Bridge. A very iconic site I must say, it's very nice. And here on the docks we have railway that's still embedded into the land. And this is the railway that takes you out onto the pier. It's very nice to still have something like this. We've got some boats down here as well. And looking out here, we have the old railway pier, which unfortunately we can't get on because it's very old, it's not been maintained in quite a long time. So chances of it being very unstable is likely, but we can get pretty close to it to notice that it still has track left on it, which I think is very nice because I didn't actually know that it had any track left on it, but there you go. That there, through the crack. That is the old pier for the trains. It's really nice and I'm glad I did this railway. This is a really interesting way to finish. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed episode 4. I certainly did. See you in the next video, and thanks for watching.